and Robbie Williams, not with a, a career in the pop world, but actually by emigrating from Britain to California. America is the third most popular destination that Britons would like to emigrate to. Well, the Smithson family moved to Orange County in California from Hertfordshire just over a year ago. We're going to speak to them in just a moment. First, should we find out what their life is like now? Hi, we're the Smithson family. We're originally from Hertfordshire. We moved to California in July 2007. We now live in Mission Viejo in Southern California. The, the thing that brought us out here was uh, job relocation. Uh, I work in the IT uh, industry and uh, there was an opportunity to move on a relocation uh, through an acquisition. And uh, so I took the opportunity, asked the family and we came out here to set up a new life. I found the grocery shopping can be quite expensive here. The, um, when I look at my grocery bill at the end of the week, I think, oh, it's, you know, it's quite high. Things like a loaf of bread can cost me $5. But it, it's a bit of both. Some things are more expensive, some things are cheaper. Kids have actually adjusted really well, um, probably because they go to school, uh, they've made a lot of new friends, uh, and uh, they're probably more adaptable than, than perhaps us as adults. Uh, I think the harder, harder adaptation is, is, for the, uh, is for the wife, who, who has to spend a lot of time at home and less, less sort of opportunity to socialise. So uh, I think the kids have done really well to adapt. One of the things I've done is get the kids involved in sports. I thought found it a great way of getting them in the community, meeting other children. My son does soccer for a local soccer team, and my daughter Amber does cheerleading. In fact, we've just taken her to cheerleading now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Well, the, the standard of living in Southern California is, is certainly higher. We certainly have a, a better lifestyle living here in California. Um, there's uh, both from a quality of life point of view, and I think it's probably a more affluent place to be living. Oh, it does look lovely, doesn't it? And the Smithson family join us now from our LA studio, looking like they're about to present the evening news. My goodness, <laughs> life has changed for you, hasn't it? Good to speak to you this morning. Yeah. Uh, good to see you. Now, listen, Laura, Mum, let's talk to you first of all, because it always comes down to the mum so often, doesn't it? You know, the dad's going out to the job and, and you're trying to sort of hold the family together. What was it like then, starting a new life in California? Um, it was very exciting the, the first uh, couple of weeks, you're on a honeymoon, um, but it's, it's a big adjustment and it, bringing five people to another country and, and I did feel the responsibility getting the children adjusted and things like that. The first six months definitely is the hardest. After that, um, you, you, you adapt and, and, it's, and it's been much, much easier. So what are the things that you don't expect? I mean, you obviously are looking forward to and expecting the sunshine, maybe a more outdoorsy life, but what are the things you don't expect that you hadn't prepared for, good and bad? Um, I thought that I would be able to meet people, make friends very quickly. I think I'm quite a sociable person. And in fact, it took me about six months to uh, make a friend. Um, luckily, now, and, and in fact, I, I actively seeked other expats because I felt that they would be able to understand what we were going through, what I was going through on a daily basis. And now I have four great friends here and, and it makes all the difference. Um, the good is the weather, actually. I mean, y you don't know till you're here, but it's just so, it does make life so much easier and much more enjoyable. Yeah, it's lovely when the sun shines anywhere, isn't it? Now, Daryl, Dad, what attracted you uh, to California? Well, I think um, we'd, we'd done a couple of uh, holidays over here and uh, uh, we'd really like the place um, and w when I got the opportunity to move job uh, we, we had a couple of choices where we could live in Cali uh, in the US and, and California was really our first first chance and first choice. Brilliant. Now let's just have a quick chat with, uh, with Amber, uh, Chelsea and Sam. I don't know whether we can see you all in the same shot, but let's uh, okay. it's a challenge for the cameraman, that's for sure. Well, that's <laughs> Chelsea there. Listen, girls, first of all, you tell me, what's it been like then being a youngster settling into a new school, all of that? Um, for me personally, the college um, was a big change for me. It's a huge campus that I'm on. It's got 25,000 students, so that to me is crazy but uh, everyone is so nice and um, I've I met people straight away and it was so much fun and I, l I just love the atmosphere out here the people just 
everything right now. So. And of course, yeah. Amber's a, a proper all-American girl, looking a very convincing <laughs> cheerleader. We saw there. What about little Sam on the end there? What do you make of it? I, I really like America. I, the first six months, I really struggled, and I, I did have friends, but I didn't have as much as I did in England. But now, when uh, as soon as I got back into school, I, I, it was just I, I'm, I'm enjoying it more than I did. Well, good for you. And you haven't done a Catherine Zeta Jones yet, any of you, have you? You all still sound English, so, or British. <laughs> so, <laughs> you hang on. Oh, OK. American She's one. getting a bit of a twang there. Good to speak to all of you this morning. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. And thank, if, you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. If you are thinking about setting up home in America, then we have got lots of help and advice and cautions as well. You have to think about it. It's not all rosy. Lots of advice there on our website, gm.tv. Nice family. Sam's going to find out the American girls love an English accent, so hang on. Because you, of course, started in America, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, five years over there, yeah. So just I keep little accent. Sam there. Keep, yeah, you do. And you wouldn't have exploited that at all, would you? Not at all. No. It's a home run before you even begin, <laughs> I promise. Right, Richard Arnold now.